So now we're going to practice just with water, right. okay? Shoulders back is very important. In fact, sometimes I ask the kids to do their homework standing up because when we sit, we kind of tend to slouch, okay? But you have very good posture. So let's try just sitting up, shoulders back. Would you take the water? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just watch you. Okay. Would you swallow some straight ahead, just a small amount? Okay, you do that over 600 times a day, so yeah. I'm not surprised you're excellent at it. Now would you do it with your head to the right? Perfect. And I think I heard the oomph. Okay, now to the left. Excellent. And now up. Good, and now down. Good, you were an excellent model there too, Haley, because it is very important to get the water into your mouth before you assume <laughs> the position, okay? Now there's one other trick I'm going to teach you before we put a candy in your mouth. Okay. Have you ever seen a duck swallow? No. Okay, well this is a funny thing. Now I'm gonna teach you this, and okay. next time you're down near the river, you'll watch the ducks, okay? okay? The way ducks take their food is they dive into the water and then they shake their whole head and actually their whole body to get it to the back of their throat and to shake it down. And we find, especially with children who are younger than you, that the duck shake helps them get the, the pill or the candy to the back of their throat. Okay. Very young children sometimes have trouble when the candy floats <laughs> around in their mouths. So we're going to ask you to put the uh, candy on the back of your tongue. Okay. But would you practice the duck shake for now? Okay. Okay, so you'll put it on the back of your tongue, put a little water in, do the duck shake. You don't have to wiggle your whole body. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do the duck shake, then assume whatever position you're going to do. Okay. And I want you to tell me ahead of time. I'm going to give you some more water. Okay. Okay, so take whatever candy you'd like to try first. Okay, nerds are a good one to practice with because okay. they're hard and heavy and all that, but not too big. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through it. Okay. Put it on the back of your tongue. Okay. Now put a little water in. And then do the duck shake to make sure it's in the back. Now assume whatever position you're going to take. Okay. I forgot to tell you the last step. Oh, sorry. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Great, okay, so you don't have to stick your tongue out at me and show me that yeah. it's not there, that's great. So would you do it again, take okay. whatever candy you'd like. Okay, which position will you do this time? Left. Okay, put it on the back of your tongue, put a little water in, do the duck shake, okay, and go to the left. I could hear it, thumbs up or down. Good, that's two successes in a row, that's wonderful. Could you feel it as it went down? No. Excellent, okay. What, what position next? Up. Okay, take a candy. Okay. Back of the tongue, a little bit of water. Duck shake. Thumbs up or down? Excellent. Take your choice. Okay, and now we have to do down. Okay, okay so put it on the back of your tongue. Okay, a little bit of water, never too much, good. Duck shake, down, thumbs up or down. Oh, didn't go. No. Pour it, put a little more water in and try it again. Okay. No? Or no. Did, no. It, it went this time. It went, okay, good. Okay, now your silly homework <laughs> is actually a pretty serious matter. Okay. I mean, all the kids tell me how silly to eat candy is homework. They'd love to have that be their homework. But it is serious, and I'll tell you okay. why. We find even in kids like you who've had a lot of success on the very first try, what you think is the best today is not necessarily the best for you in the long run. Mm -hmm. And it will take you two weeks of practice to figure out what position you really like. Okay, so I really, really want you to practice in a serious manner. You have okay. to do each position and think about it and write down how you do. Okay. This is a sample score sheet, and you're going to have one for every night for 14 days. Okay. On the sample, this child named Jay already has the day filled in, fills in the date, and selects the candy. Okay. So you select your candy. This day, Jay selected Tic Tacs. 
And so let's say it's a girl. She used the Tic Tacs in all five positions that day. And they're, they're um, selected ahead of time. You don't get to choose. Okay. So on day one, it was left, then up, then center, then down, then right. Okay. Now notice this. Jay tried left first, and she didn't really like it a lot. But I guess it went down. If it hadn't gone down, she probably would have said didn't go down at all. Yes. You can write me notes in there. Okay. okay. Up, she liked a lot, didn't she? Center, she liked the best. Well, as I told you, we swallow more than 600 times a day in the center position, so that's not surprising. She did not like down. Right was pretty good, too. But I'll bet you that by day 14, this pattern will have changed. Okay. The most important thing is at the end of every day, I want you to really think, what position did you like the best? And write that down. Okay. And it'll be fun to see, if you're like most kids, the one that you write down the first day probably isn't going to be the one that you like the best at the end of 14 days. But we'll see. Okay. okay. And you'll come back and see me then. That's your homework. We're going to give you candy, but if you run out, I'll bet you know where to get more. Yeah. Okay.